Five, four, three, two, one, boom. What's up champions? Hey, Coach Real here. So I wanted to come in here and give you a tutorial showing you how to put what we call a ticker across the bottom of your shot. Really cool, you see me do it all the time with, you know, I will believe in you or follow, you know, follow me on my social media at realandrews.com. I'm gonna show you how to put that into your, um, into, your, into your scenes so you can use that when you're doing your Facebook Lives, your videos, whatever, it's really cool. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. We're gonna jump on in to our OBS software right here. We're gonna just jump on in. So here we are in my OBS software and we've got our main shot right here. So what we're gonna do right here is, I am going to right click on my main shot. We're gonna duplicate it, okay? We're gonna call this main shot with a ticker, okay? Gonna come on down in here. So now we just duplicated that shot. So now we get the opportunity to add to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add hit the plus sign here, come up to add an image. We're going to call this ticker background, ticker background. Okay, say okay. And we're gonna browse, and I've already created these in Canva, and that'll be another tutorial. I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna come down here and I'm gonna grab this ticker bottom right here. There we go, JPEG, I'm gonna say add it. Now, you can see it's small over here, so we're going to right-click on this. We're going to come down to Transform. We're going to say Fit to Screen. Perfect. We're going to drag it down, make it fit exactly how we want. Right there at the bottom. Take off the black right there. Next, we're going to come back to the sources. We're going to add what we're going to call another image. We're going to call this the ticker, tick, ticker, ticker, ticker top. <laughs> ticker top, okay? Ticker top. And we're gonna add that on here like this. I'm gonna go back to browse. And I'm gonna grab this one right here. Or actually, I want a PNG because it's a transparency. So we're gonna go with this one right here that I created right here. And you can see half of it is not showing because it's a transparency. And I'll show you more about that. So once again, what are we gonna do? We're gonna right click, we're gonna hit transform. We're going to fit to screen. And we're gonna drag that bad boy right down here and fill in that space right here. So next, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the text. So we hit the sources, hit the plus sign, come down here to text. We're gonna just type it called text and hit add and it opens up the text box. Really, really cool. We get to select the fonts we want. I like Verdana. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but hey, let's go with it. And then let's just say, have a great day, okay? Now, if I don't hit the space bar, I like to go one, two, three, it's gonna go like, it'll run right into each other, okay? When I hit the space bar, because I'm gonna make this scroll, we're gonna make this scroll in a second, it will have space there. So now, as you can see, the text is right here, really small, that'd be really hard to see on an iPhone or whatever phone you're using. So we're gonna just grab one of these corners here and drag it, make it a little bigger. And then we're gonna click in the middle, we're gonna drag it right down here and put it in the box. Now, while I have it highlighted, I can hit the plus arrow or the arrows right here, I can move it right up and down, try to get it exactly where I want it, go sideways a little bit if I want, just like that, okay? And there we got that. Now, I'm going to right click on the text and I'm gonna to go to filters I'm gonna hit the plus sign in the bottom left here. I'm gonna hit scroll, highlight scroll. I'll just call it scroll is okay. And now we get to, we can make the vertical speed. We can make it scroll up and down if we want. I wanna scroll horizontally. You can adjust the speed right here. Just FYI, 33 is a really good speed to use to read. I'm gonna get 38 right there. Then I'm gonna drop it down to 33, I like 33 and we hit close, and there you go. We have the scrolling text right there in the bottom of your ticker, really nice coming in there like that, and it's awesome, it's an awesome technique. You can have your logo right there on the left, right there. Now let's just say you don't wanna have your logo there, right? Let's just say you wanna just have a ticker going across the bottom on that plain background. So what? let's take the ticker top off, let's delete that, remove it, and now what we gotta do here though with the text, 
is we need to hold on. What I want to do here is I'm going to lock the background so it won't move, and I'll lock the camera as well. That way I can just focus on the text. I'm going to move this text. So what I can do right here, right? I want it to go all the way across. What do we do? We right click on it, hit transform, hit fit to screen, and now look at that bad boy. Beautiful. We got the whole thing going across just like that. And if you wanted to, you could actually, you know, just have it scroll right across your screen, just like that, if you wanted to. Just another technique where well, you can put it at the top, the bottom, the middle. I kind of like to highlight it with a nice background, just like that. You know, let's center that up like that. There you go. And that is it. Just like that. And that is how you add a ticker to the bottom of your scene your shot, if you will. So once again, guys, I'm excited for you. Hope that helps make the rest of the day the best of the day. I'll believe in you as you believe in yourself. Let's go, let's do this, boom.